On today's show, Adam Schweitzer of Calamus Outfitters is going to guide us on a pheasant hunt near Burwell, Nebraska. It's going to be a heck of a show. Any day in the woods with a firearm in your hands is better than a, a day behind the desk. Jerry, if it looks like I'm going to get gored, put around in me, would you? <laughs> I was thinking if they come at this, I'm going to trip you. <laughs> How can you have all these hills without valleys, huh? Nice shot. Good bird. Oh, ho, ho. look at that now. I want you to come out in your loincloth and me with a rifle. I'll think it's a white bear. In the Woods with Ron and Jerry is brought to you by Envirologic of Alabama, products that make sense for you and your environment. By Lannis International, there is no substitute for perfection. By MPP Incorporated, flying Ron and Jerry to the next day in the woods. By the 500 Magnum Energy Bar, power for now, power for later. And by Karma LLC, an elevated state of awareness. The In the Woods team really loves to go to Calamus Outfitter. We've gone there for the past three years. Huh, but they have other things besides hunts. They have bird watching, trail riding, Jeep tours. They have tanking in the Calamus River where people get in these big stock tanks and float down the river. We do it down here in the south in Inethub. They do it in tanks. They have all kinds of things to do at this place. It's a big facility, beautiful lodge, uh, great food. It's a family owned and operated uh, facility. and. It's a great place to go for a vacation when it's not hunting season. As usual, we got up and breakfast was ready and waiting for us. While Jerry sat down to have some breakfast, I had to take care of a few things back at the office. Adam was ready to go, the dogs were ready to go, and we headed to the field. Mm. Nice shot. Good shot. Yeah. Better be ready to reload. In case they flush another one. In. Want it? That's up to you. It's you can shoot them on my CSA permit, but it's up to you. Two dogs pointing. Rooster. I was backing you up, Jerry. Thank you. Oh, that's like a snowing, snowing feathers. Yeah, you weren't really trying to kill that one, right? Just trying to scare. That's a beautiful point here. You put that point together with. You need some more shells? I got plenty over here. I've only used one so far. So a slow early hunt, Adam decided we move on to another field. That first field served as a warm up. Now we're ready to get serious. Oh, oh. Got a dead bird. Nice shot. I hate to outshoot Ron. He doesn't uh, doesn't take it well, but he's taking it today. Long way to go still. Right in the sun, but got him. It did. That second shot was exactly into the sun where he should have been. 
I got feathers that time. Birdie again. You get some slower dogs. Better move up, Ron. Move up. Rooster. Nice shot. Good bird. That was a long shot. <laughs> that was a tremendously long shot. He's running up the hill. Get him, Hump. Get him. Good bird. Right on top of the hill. Keep going. Keep going, Hump. Right there, Honky. We took a break to give the dogs a rest and let Ryan catch his breath. And Adam had a plan for the same field. Let's just go up here to this north side of the field, work our way back to the west. All right. See if we can kill some more. Are we going to do it exactly like this other time, one in the field and one up you in the... You want the hill this time? No, I'll let you have the hill. I know that you got one leg longer than the other. And... Yeah, my short leg will be my short leg will be uphill. That's true. That's true. Yeah. There you go. You got that on film? There you go. I really didn't want to shoot that hand run. You talked me into it. Shooting at it. Okay, here. Birdie, birdie. Looks like it. That was better. Rooster. Here, Junior, here. Junior brought it halfway and decided he needed to find a far enough, a live one. Far enough. Good thing we're getting close to being back. I'm about full. <laughs> Do you know what the uh, you know what the original labs were bred for? Catalogs, aren't they? Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. For what? Fishing. The predecessor to that, I say, was a St. John's dog, and it was a fishing, fish retrieving dog. Really? Well, see, I've taken him out on some drownings on the big lake, thinking he could find the. I think he found the last guy. I didn't tell anybody because I just, I mean, I want to be like. You don't want to make him a cadaver dog, cadaver dog you know? <laughs> bring, the, bring the cadaver dog. But I had him in the boat we were in, and man, his tail just went like he was birdie. And then on, we had a, then I, we just threw a buoy out, and he was there. You want one up us here and one down there? Is yeah. That you, you want here or there? The dogs want to go that way. One dog's over here. Here. Whatever, whatever you're comfortable bird. with. Comfortable okay. We're right into the wind. It could be down there a ways. Got one over here too. Probably the same bird. I shot a lady. I shot a lady. Rooster! Rooster down! Good shot, Ron. Good shot. Get him, Hawkins. Get up there, Jerry. Shot. <laughs> How can you have all these hills without valleys, huh? <laughs> these are the birds that I shot this morning. Uh, Ryan, I think he may have shot one that has this kind of plumage. Most of his were less colorful. Uh, that's is that not, how you recall? That's it? not my recollection at all, Jerry. I think that uh, I think that one down on the end is the only one that I saw you shoot. Most of these, I I think that I shot. You just shot it into the air to make uh, nope. make some noise. What if we, we, Adam, we, you were there? I mean, we're going to have to go back to your film. And there we go. Out, uh, yeah, that'll settle the argument. But uh, we, we may have to bet on which way that went. After wrapping up the morning hunt, taking some photographs and the like. We went in for a brief lunch and then got ready to go back into the field. Give it one more try. Well, we're going to do one last push here for the day. It's getting pretty hot. There's a creek down here. It's all spring water. Um, lots of shade. 
Lots of cool ground. See if them pheasants come in there for maybe a drink of water. Let the dogs run, cool down, and take her into the wind. See what we can do. Let's give it a go. All right. Birdie, birdie dog up front. Richter! Took three shots, but I got him down. Hard point. Rooster! Is that better? Oh, <laughs> you gave that one a little push. You won't have to clean that one, Adam. <laughs> that was done. Now Ryan's on point. Get him, Ryan! Oh, you the man. Is that what you wanted me to do? A real nice shot on that last one, isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's a two-year-old bird there, long tail feather. Pretty. Take it, Jerry! Good shot. On the second day of our hunt, Adam had us out early because he knew it was going to get hot that day. Release the hounds. I right, where is it? Not the best shot, but at least it's down. Your blood. Come here. Jerry uh, hit it on the second shot, just barely touched it. My third shot put it down. Luckily it was flying to me instead of away from me this morning. That was better. There you go, Ron. He took three, but he's down. He's running. Hit him pretty solid on that first one. Second one. Second one dusted him good. It's not like they're short shots, fellas. I mean, this is... I wasted that shell. You shot a dead one. I didn't shoot it. I shot behind it. I pulled up. That's good. Here. Here. Come on. There he is. Nice shot. Had to swing on that one. That's where he was. Jake had him. Virginia, here. Okay, Rista. Oh, good shot, good shot. He was dead when Another I Another one. That's uh, yours, Ron. Take it. Flushed right where that bird came out. Let's move up. Uh, the dog all hit on the same spot and uh, we had to run across the field to get here. We got one of them, but another one got away. You gonna go over here first? Yeah, I'm just gonna have the dog skirt that. You guys stay Come. right on this two-track road. Oh, okay, all right. And uh, down the road, that sounded good. Got on the last shot. Oh, look at that. She's dead. She's down. Oh, on the side hill. Honky washed her down. I, I didn't know if he could see over the hill. Yeah. Penny Penny Lander scores again. My dogs. Serious. Now that one was a surprise. We're all sitting here BS and going down there, headed to the truck thinking it's all over. And this rooster gets, gets up. up. No, that was a hand. <laughs>
<laughs> now that one was a real surprise. We're headed down here, headed to the car, just a lot of BS, talking about monkey butt and other things. And this rooster gets up, heads off over the hill, and uh, really I had to, it was I had to put a uh, put another round in because I'd already emptied the uh, shotgun. Got finally hit it on the third the third shot, and uh, the fantastic honky was able to pull it off the top of the hill. You hit it, you hit it good because by the time it hit the ground, all of its colored plumage was off. <laughs> I don't think Jerry, we're gonna have to call this a Ron and something else show because <laughs> Jerry has not learned how to tell the truth yet. No. I thought Come on. Rooster! Double trouble. Get him. He's on the run. Get him. We shot together that time. We can both claim that one. That's a nice bird. Must be right there. I think I see the bird. No. Nope. Oh! Woo! How about that one, huh? Nice shot. By the time we got to the end of the field, Ron and I were dragging pretty good, so we decided to call it a day. Closed captioning for this program has been brought to you by Envirologic of Alabama. Products that make sense. That afternoon, we headed out with Dylan Stutzman, one of Adam's guides. We had one last chance to hunt, we wanted to make the best of it. What's the plan? All right, this afternoon we're gonna walk this ridge line here. Wind's blowing pretty hard out of the west and it kind of cuts down into a gully. I think them birds are gonna be down in, the, in there out of the wind, so. So we gotta climb the hill before we get to the gully? Yep, we're gonna have to climb the hill. Yeah. Get you always start on the low side, go up the hill and down. Yep. I wonder if anyone ever considered Starting at the top? Starting at the top. <laughs> and walking down. Walking down. <laughs> well, they might see us. Oh, I, I oh there you go. Okay. So we're going I there. I knew there was a reason. Yeah. I just didn't know what it was. We're going in the direction of that old tower right there. Yep. Okay. They're probably in that tree line out of the wind, huh? They're staying down in this, in between these hills and these two wind breaks. I think they're protected here, and then people come and fill them full of lead, you know? Tough life to be a bird out here. But at least they won't have to go through a cold winter, you know. It'll be nice and warm where I'm going to put this one after I get him out the freezer. Find this bird, huh? Dylan, you know where that one that we... Hey, Ronnie! Oh, dear! He is also defeathered. I didn't hit it too hard, did I? <laughs> you didn't hit it too easy. <laughs> oh, dead bird. Dead bird. Shot, Ryan. Okay. Did you hear him? He said we're going in here. There we go. Your turn. I didn't even scare him. Yeah, that was pitiful. I'll give you a comment. That was awful. He's hit. Watch him down. He's still, you see him down? Here, take this with you. I'm, I can't run up there. Did they get him? Got him, Ron. Fantastic. Way to finish it off, isn't it? We got an early start the next morning after breakfast. We headed to the airport. 
Uh, they'd already fueled up the airplane. We loaded her up and we were ready to go. Thank you very much, Adam. What a fantastic couple of days we had shooting pheasants here. Dylan, thank you very much. Yep, no of course, I wish that we had uh, our favorite Labrador here, uh, Honky. Honky. I want to call him. Thanks, he was man. fantastic. I had a great time, too. Yep. If anyone wants to come to uh, come up to Nebraska and uh, hunt pheasants, or for that matter, if you want to hunt mule deer or whitetail deer, uh, geese or uh, ducks, and I think in turkeys, hey, this is the place to go. Calamus Outfitters, we're going to put their website and phone number up on the, on the video. Contact them. I think you'll not be disappointed. In the Woods with Ron and Jerry is brought to you by Envirologic of Alabama, products that make sense for you and your environment. By Landis International, there is no substitute for perfection. By MPP Incorporated, flying Ron and Jerry to the next day in the woods. By the 500 Magnum Energy Bar. Power for now, power for later. And by Karma LLC, an elevated state of awareness 